why were the dogs in the bathroom for 12 hours? They're in the bathroom for 12 hours every day. Every single day. Oh, yeah. Snuggy, snuggy. Zelda. 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 <laughs> She's passed out. <laughs> Hi guys, gotta go. Oh. Poppin' what's good and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I go by Rico Suave. This is Posted Media. Let's get into the video. So Aaron Carter's dogs have been a topic of conversation for a while now. If you want to go back to his House of Carter days when his entire family and siblings were getting on him because he didn't know how to take care or clean up after his dogs. And TMZ has even reported on him selling and flipping dogs for money back when he was having a rough time financially. But even beyond public outrage, a lot of people who have been witnessing Aaron Carter or following his train wreck for a while have noticed he goes through dogs like normal people go through socks, right? Even though Aaron Carter doesn't seem to wash his ass, for some reason he always finds a way to hurt, abuse, neglect, or sell a dog. So yesterday or the day before yesterday, depending on when I upload this, Aaron Carter was on live and he tried to show Zelda but Zelda really didn't look too well. And honestly, having a dog, having multiple dogs, I know what dogs look like when they're napping. I know what they look like when you say their name, you know, their little ears pop up. They might look at you and be like, ah, I'm not really fucking with you right now. I'm going back to sleep. But Zelda honestly didn't really look like she was breathing. So I figured now would be a better time than ever to go ahead and expose Aaron Carter's animal neglect and abusive ways, you know, because obviously he keeps getting these dogs and he does things like leaving them in a bathroom for long periods of time. He hot boxes the room with cigarettes and weed with the dogs in them. He disciplines them by kneeing them or slapping them. I mean, there's also reports of him giving them large amounts of CBD to make them docile. And before I get that one YouTube comment saying, why don't you reach out to the authorities before you go make a YouTube channel or something? Well, for your information, people have made complaints to the LA County and Lancaster Animal Control but apparently that wasn't enough. So I'm doubling down. And since I know the YouTube audience reaches more people than my Twitter audience, you can find the links to the animal controls near him and also a petition for his dogs to be removed from his home down in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Enjoy the video. But she's really grumpy right now. Yeah. Just so you know, she's she's very very grumpy. Hey yo, she she, she, <laughs> she doesn't want to be moved around really. Of course, she's cute though. <laughs> Hello, hey, <laughs> have you ever watched the movie Cody? Yes, I have. Look, it's Corella DeVille. Oh, <laughs> you funny. All right, bro, you and me are going to talk. You keep digging holes. What are you looking for? Looking for gold? Like, what are you doing? All right, bro, you and me are going to talk. You keep digging holes. What are you looking for? Yeah. You have to reprimand a dog. Anybody who doesn't think they have to reprimand a dog is wrong. What are you going to do? Let your dog rip up your fucking couch? You're going to let him shit everywhere? You know, you, it's called obedience. Yes, and All Aaron right? has training for obedience. I, I, yeah, tell him, tell him about that, Mom. Yeah. Uh-oh. I got groceries I got to get in. Yeah, that's what you're Ooh, do you see something?
What is that? Ask him tomorrow where his dogs are. Like, ask Melanie where the dogs are. Um, and ask her to show you how they live. <laughs> good luck. It's terrible. It's fucking awful. So, good luck. Come out! Come out! There you go. That bug lady wait, is just chasing clown at this point. Yeah, because I'm gonna be your biggest post. All right, so Nala is very, very, very well taken care of. Okay, she's just sleeping right now. Okay, but you know where Peanut is, but where's Nala? Uh, where is where is Nala? <laughs> she was just chilling in here when we left. So Nala, baby, Nala. She'll listen. She'll come to me. She's here. Oh, she's in your room. Oh, that's right. I put her in the room. <laughs> 300 food. We spent 140 on steak for her. <sighs> okay, so she wants it, but. <gasps> Good girl. Stop bringing it over here. I don't know why you're trying to hide it. Nine. Hide it. This is no onions. Honey Spieber. No onions. Here you go. You know what? Try it. Nine. Come. No. No. Hey. Back up. No, nine means no in German. Nope. Hey, this is the third time you keep bringing it on the carpet. All right? You're gonna drop it, heal. This should all go in the freezer and not Hip, hip. Hip. Ready? Ready? Come here. Enjoy that out there. We'll take it somewhere else. Puppies. Wait, you're annoying the fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Shut the fuck up, you crazy fucking crazy motherfuckers. Where's this? Where's that? How's this? Where's that? Why isn't this? Shut the fuck up. No hate? No, I didn't think you were hating. Uh, but this, yeah, that's where I am now. Mm hmm. Mm. Hey, 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 enough. Don't don't overdo it. You're gonna... You probably just overdid it. Hey, no. Yeah, you did. You, you overdid it. You drank too much water, buddy. Go write it off. Well, hello, Nala. Chilling with daddy. I know that you had brought, obviously, the clip of you talking about her pissing and shitting everywhere. <laughs> no. Kind of started it all. Um, and honestly, no. I, I got to give you props for being honest about it. Because here's the thing is that we've all kind of seen um, clips of her pissing and shitting in that truck when you guys were driving. And he wouldn't no. take her out, and uh, which is alarming, to say the least. Um, but what did you, did you see that? I mean, is that kind of consistent with how he would take care of her? 
Um, dude, I'm not gonna lie, man. There's one thing that really fucking aggravated me. It was the day of the rat poison. Um, is that true? Is that true that happened? Apparently it was true, but it just seemed really weird to me, you know, like, the whole scenario sounded weird because at one point, um, at one point, Aaron thought that, like, that Abba was a siren, she was a BSB gang stalker, that she was a plan, she was something, and then he's like, haha, watch my dog die because of you or whatever, like, watch my dog, something happened to my dog, like, you better not give my dog this or that, and, like, I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then, you know, uh, we get to the we get to the Airbnb in New York, and the first thing Abba does is like, oh my god, oh my god, look, I found Nala with blood poison. It's such blood poison. And then like Aaron free off. He's like, hold on, let's look it up. So we look it up and we confirm. And the first thing that Aaron does, he takes his middle finger and just goes Bruh! right down her throat. You see, you see Nala just like her fucking soul came out of her eyes, dude. That what? fucking flipped my mind. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And, like, everybody's cool with it, and I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm like, dude, I'm really freaking the fuck out, dude. I don't not, I don't like that type of stuff. I think it's fucking weird. Like, force the dog, like, water, like, give the dog water or something, you know, but to take your whole middle and just go rah, right down his throat and then try to, like, scoop and, and, like, yank out. Fuck no. Fuck no. I hated that shit. That shit made me so uncomfortable.